up guys it is your boy kev back again with another video so this is going to be a very special video i'm going to show you exactly what you need to start your own sneaker collection with only 50 dollars. that's right you can start a sneaker collection with only 50 dollars and get the shoes that i have just like the ones that are behind this one boom this one boom this one boom like this one boom and this one so make sure you stay tuned to the whole video. I'm gonna make it nice and short, super easy, so you guys can follow my steps and how to get your sneaker collection up to game with only 50 bucks. Let's go. So story time. So one day when I got out of high school and I was walking home, uh, I saw a pair of shoes in a garbage can and I didn't know what they were. So I took them out and uh, they were my size, they were a size 10. I'm just like, wow, like this is a nice looking shoe. Like, I wonder like how much it goes for, right? So I put on my bag and I started walking on my way home. And then once I got home to around my bag, I went on the internet and I type in, I typed in the number that was on the size tag. Every shoe has a number in the size tag. So that's why I typed it to Google. Then ended up being a pair of Flint 7s. And they were in like really good condition. And I don't know why the person threw them out. They were 100% legit. And on Flight Club at the time, they were going for like $400. So I'm just like, yo, I found a $400 shoe. So that sneaker made me just want to get more sneakers. And it is what I am today. Big sneaker head, hype beast, however you want to call it. And what I started doing, because I, didn't, I was never the type to ask my parents, like, hey, I want this and this. Or can you get me this and this? I was never like that. I always wanted to work on my own. So what I started doing is I started going to the thrifts. So going to the thrifts, I started cleaning uh, sneakers for people for like, 20 20 a pair 10 dollars a pair depending if i was cool with them or not and that's how i started making my money once i started making my money i would just go to thrifts and then i would just clean up the shoe and i would sell it or i would go to sneaker conventions or like however you want to call it like sneaker con stuff like that and i would just do a bunch of trades with people and then that's how i built my collection In high school i had probably like over 100 pairs of shoes most of that now i don't even have because i just used it for things i really need like especially now that I'm in college, like textbooks, clothes, stuff like that. Like now I probably only have like 50 pairs in my collection, which is nothing compared to what I had before. So how does my story relate to how you can start your own senior collection with $50? Well, if you watch my recent video, which I'll link it up, I found these at the thrift for $40 and I really didn't even spend 40. I brought a bag of clothes with me and that bag of clothes came out to like $38, I think. And these, I think we're going, I think they were selling them for like, I want to say like 80. And uh, no, they weren't even selling them. For, I really don't remember how much they were even selling them for. But anyway, I didn't really even pay anything. I really got these for like free because of clothes. And basically, it was only $40 challenge. And I did an only $40 challenge. So let's say that I never ended up wanting to keep the shoe. I could have easily, after I cleaned it up and everything, I could have easily flipped my money and sold them for a hundred. Sell them for more profit. That's how I'm gonna build my collection up, right? If you watch my SeekerCon video, you would see that I traded Spizzyk Sixes for these LeBrons. Now these LeBrons go for a lot more money than Spizzyk Sixes. Those Spizzyk Sixes I got for twenty five dollars on a Black Friday deal in a store here in Atlanta. That I don't even think they have it anymore, but I think they're relocating it. Stay tuned for that. But anyway, I got a really good deal on that. I could have easily sold this shoe for at least 120, 130 at Singer Con. But it's just a shoe that I've been wanting for such a long time that I don't think I'm gonna sell it at the moment. On these at the thrift. I found these at the thrift, I think for like 50 bucks. I could have easily, just like the Olive 13s, I could have easily clean these up like I did, put on eBay, put on any Facebook group or anything, and I could have easily made my money back, got in more shoes or just save it for a grail that I've been wanting. Say for example, like one grail that I've always wanted was a Dornbecker, was a Dornbecker Ford. That's one grail that I've always wanted. It's just a little out of my budget right now so I can't get it right now. Another great way to start your collection from only $50 is take 25 of those dollars and save it. And the other 25, do whatever you want with it. So every time, like let's say for birthdays or you're just going out to eat, you know whatever you don't spend that day just save it put it in a shoe box and then you're gonna see your money grow that's what i did a lot in high school so every time people would pay me to clean their shoes or if i just made money off shoes i would always i would always take half of what i make and just throw it in a shoe box hide the shoe box somewhere until i needed it next time what this does is basically is you're gonna create a little savings account for yourself without using a bank and you're gonna keep it at home. So every time you want to pair of shoes, be like, oh, let me see how how uh, how much money I have in my shoe box. You open your shoe box up, you're gonna see a lot of money in there. So you have $50 and 
you want to get some new sneakers besides going to thrift and all you want to hit up ebay and your facebook groups ebay and your facebook groups are going to be your best friend because if you know how to use ebay well and i did post a video on that how to buy sneakers on ebay so make sure you, you look at that and i did post a video on how to buy sneakers off facebook so make sure you tune into that but what this is going to do is you're going to create um local meetups and if you continue to do these local meals with people they're going to give you deals because they just want their shoes out and they want money so let's say this dude is selling a pair of like 11s for like 80 dollars you'd be like yo i've done deals in the past with you like i only got 60 is that cool they might be a little beat for 60 but hey it's better than 80. now one thing that i cannot stress enough is don't follow the hype buy what you like most of everything in my collection is jordan and nike i've just grew up with nike and so that's what I'm wearing. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I do hope that you can comment down below what sneaker you'd want to start off your first collection. If you're new to collecting or if you could restart collecting as a beginner. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And don't forget that 100 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway. So tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your tia, everybody. Get everybody in Kev Talk. Everyone going to get the giveaway. Nah, just one person. But, you know, I, I wish I'd give it to all y'all. Peace and love, guys. This is Edgewater.